Gravity for kids. Have you ever heard of the saying, what goes up must come down? This is talking about gravity, which is what we are learning about today. So, what is gravity exactly? Gravity is the force that makes everything fall towards the Earth or towards other planets or other objects in space. Gravity, or gravitational force, attracts all objects toward each other. It is the force by which a planet or other body draws objects to its center. And it is gravity that keeps the planets in orbit around the sun. Without gravity, you would literally float off into space. Every object in the universe has something called mass, which is the amount of matter in an object. The size or pull of gravity depends on the mass of the objects. Mass is not the same as weight, because weight can change. Mass never changes. For example, your weight on the moon is different than your weight on Earth, because the gravitational pull of the moon is different than the Earth's. But your mass remains the same, no matter where you are in the universe. Here's an interesting fact. You exert a gravitational force on people and objects around you. But the force is not very strong. This is because you are not as massive as the sun, earth, or moon. But the next time somebody tells you to use the force, you can say, I already am. Because you are experiencing and exerting gravitational force all the time. Remember this, the bigger the mass, the greater the gravitational force. This is why all of the planets in our solar system revolve around the sun. The sun is so large compared to the planets that each planet is pulled or attracted to the sun as they orbit around it. Let's look at an example. Do you think that someone who weighs 100 pounds on Earth would weigh more on Jupiter? or on the moon. If you said Jupiter, you're right. Since Jupiter has more mass, its gravitational pull is greater, which means that someone who weighs 100 pounds on Earth would weigh 253 pounds on Jupiter. On the moon, they would only weigh 17 pounds. Here's an interesting fact. Gravity gets weaker with distance. The closer the objects are to each other, the stronger the gravitational pull will be. Did you know that the gravitational pull of the moon is what causes ocean tides? It's true. There is a swell or increase in sea level as the moon passes over the ocean. As the Earth rotates, the moon passes over new parts of the Earth, which causes this swell to move. And gravity? is what keeps the air around the Earth from drifting into space. It's what holds down our atmosphere, which allows us to survive. Gravity also causes hot air to rise and colder air to fall, which creates wind. Who knew that gravity was so important to our life here on Earth? Science is so cool. How do we know so much about this invisible force? We can thank two famous scientists who discovered, researched, and experimented with the concept of gravity, Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. First up is Sir Isaac Newton. He studied the work of other scientists and realized that gravity was a force of attraction and that the size of the force depended on both the mass of the objects and their distance from each other. Sir Isaac Newton is the scientist who watched an apple fall from a tree and realized that there was a force at work. Newton wondered why the apple falls straight to the ground and not sideways. He realized that the force that makes objects fall to Earth and the force that keeps the planets in their orbits are the same force. Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation was published in 1867 and states that every celestial body in the universe attracts every other celestial body. 
This attraction is due to a force, gravity, that depends on the mass of each body and on their distance from each other. The force of gravity between two objects increases as their masses increase. In other words, the greater the mass, the greater the gravitational force. Also, the gravitational force between two objects decreases as the distance between them increases, which means that the farther away two objects are from each other, the less gravitational attraction. The closer two objects are, the greater the attraction. Newton also discovered that two objects, regardless of their masses, will accelerate or fall equally if dropped from the same height. For example, if you drop a brick and an apple from the top of a building, both will hit the ground at the same time. Another famous scientist, Albert Einstein, discovered that gravity not only pulls on mass, like a planet, but also on light. A flashlight shined into the air will grow redder as gravity pulls it, though you cannot see the change with your naked eye. Here is a final interesting fact. A black hole has so much mass in such a small volume that its gravity is strong enough to keep everything from escaping, even light. Black holes have the strongest gravitational pull in the universe. And scientists have only scratched the surface of studying them. Maybe someday you will be a scientist who discovers even more about gravity. Okay. Our brains are full of new and exciting information. Let's test our knowledge. Fill in the blank. Two famous scientists who discovered and researched gravity are Sir Isaac Blank and Albert Einstein. Newton. True or false? The closer two objects are to each other, the weaker the gravitational pull. False. Gravitational pull increases when objects are closer together. What celestial bodies have the strongest gravitational pull in the universe? Black holes. Great job, everybody. Gravity is all around us, even when we're not aware of it. It literally keeps our feet on the ground and is a vital part of our planet and universe. The next time you see an apple falling from a tree, or feel the force of gravity as you jump in the air. Remember what you've learned today and share it with your family and friends. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.